Hi everyone, it's Destroyer here with a Blockheads tutorial on how to back up and restore your Blockheads worlds. Right now I'm going to copy Troy's world from Troy's iPad Air over to Troy's iPad 3. Here I have my iPad Air and as you can see it has Troy's world on it. And here we have my iPad 3 which currently doesn't have Troy's world on it at all. So I'll scroll around and show you that the world does not exist as yet. So in order to copy um, my world between devices, I'll use a free application called iFunbox. You can get this for free over at i-funbox.com. And once you're there, you can click on the download link at the top of the page. You'll need to download iFunbox Classic. And that is a zip file. So what you need to do is download that zip to your PC and then extract it to a folder. Once you've done that, you'll get these three files. So you launch the ifunbox.exe and you will get this uh, application on your screen. Now on the left hand side is a list of connected devices. You will need to plug your devices into the PC via the USB cable. So once they are connected, you'll get a list like this. So I have my iPad 3 and the iPad Air connected. And you'll also notice that it is jailed. It is not jailbroken. You do not need to jailbreak your device to do this procedure. So I will expand the Troy's iPad Air, which has the Troy's world on it. Expand user applications. Expand blockheads. Then library. Application support. And then you'll see a folder called saves. So click on that. The next thing you'll need to do is click on view and change the uh, view type. So I want to switch the view over to uh, the list like this so you can see the dates. So then I, then I can sort by date and easily see which was the last one modified. So I was in Troy's world last. So the DAEF folder at the top is the one I want to copy. So you right click and click copy to PC. Select the location which I did which is iPad Air saves in my case. Then click the save button. It may take quite a long time to copy depending on the size of your world. In my world I have explored almost every area possible so it is a very big world and this uh, took about 10 to 15 minutes for me. So I will fast forward for you and get to the end of the copy. So the uh, copy is just coming to an end now, 99.9%. Now I'll bring up the folder where I saved this to on my PC. And here you can see the DAEF folder. I'm going to uh, press Alt Enter to bring up the properties on that. And as you can see it's about 75 megabytes in total. However it does take 160 megabytes because there are almost 3000 folders and 26,000 files. Hence why it took quite a long time to copy. So in order to copy this to my other iPad I'll need to first browse to the other iPad folder where the saves folder is. So just minimize the uh, iPad Air in this instance. Expand the other device which is my iPad 3. Explore to user applications, blockheads, library, application support and click on the saves folder. Now this is where I want to copy it to. As you can see there's no DAEF folder which is Troy's world. There's no option to actually copy folders. If you try and copy from PC, it will only let you copy one file at a time. So with almost 3,000 uh, files, this would take a lifetime to do. So in order to copy the entire folder, you need to drag and drop the uh, folder from your PC over to the iFunbox. So once you do that, go back to iFunbox and you'll see it's already copying. So once again this will take about 10 to 15 minutes to copy since it is about 3000 files. So I'll fast forward to the end of this copy. So the copy is just about to complete. And there it is. So let's head on over to the iPad 3 where I copied this world. And as you can see the world does not exist because I haven't reloaded the program so quit that out and reload the blockheads and then you'll see at the very end that the world you copied which is Troy's world is now on this iPad. So I can click on play now and load that.
as you can see the world has loaded properly and it's kept the same progress I was at when I uh, backed up the world. So I have all five blockheads intact and everything in the world is the same as the other copy. So I hope this video has helped you to back up and restore your worlds. You could also back up and restore to the exact same um, device as well. So if you happen to ruin your world unintentionally or even intentionally, you could just delete it off the device and restore it from the PC again. Have fun and bye for now.